everyone, Kyle the Pimation Guy here. I'm sorry that my voice is all crackly, it's just because this mic really sucks. But anyway, what we have here is the new Halo 3 Series 6 um, all-terrain vehicle, Mongoose. Uh, I got it at Target today, and I know you're like, what? Uh, but the only reason that it's at Target, I guess, is because uh, you can only buy them online and at conventions. People didn't like that, because that got pretty expensive, so I guess by popular demand they started selling them in stores. So here's the box, and just so you know, it doesn't come with these two figures. It comes with that orange Spartan Mark V there. This is just gameplay footage. And here's a picture at the back. It's in French and in Spanish and in English all on the back. McFarland.com slash Halo. Picture of what you get. This guy doesn't come with any guns, which kind of sucks. Um, it shows you that it, you can get another Spartan action figure and just put it on the back, which I might end up doing eventually. It shows all the possibility. It says some assembly required on the front, but that's the box, and let's take a look at the figure himself. First, you want to open it up on the inside. Now, I've only opened this once, but I have not taken the figure out, so... Just go like this. And just put the box aside little plastic piece that here it might be a little dark um, sorry about that it's really dark in my room right now Hello the camera down so as you can see here it has a little piece of plastic that goes on top of it so that it doesn't get crushed I'll put that off to the side and here is the ATV mongoose whatever you want to call it it's really lightweight the most weight is in the middle and uh, there it is but um it also comes with a uh, little uh, windshield right here, which you just simply put it in like that, and that's all the assembly you need to do. And there's the Spartan right there, Spartan Mark V. Uh, he's orange, but uh, he doesn't come with any guns, as I mentioned before, which really sucks because I like it when they have guns, so I'll just... The only thing holding this thing in is a twist tie right here, which I'll get untwisted. Uh, crap. Uh, okay, let's. Okay, here we go. So, take the twist tie off. Here he is. As you can kind of. Ah, it fell. Oh well. But as you can see here, he kind of has strange swivel joints right here, unlike the normal ones, which go forward and back. This thing goes side to side and a little bit forward, but not back like at all. It goes side to side just a little bit, mainly so it can fit on here, and I'm going to do that later. The knees bend, it's and it turns kind of like a ball joint. Uh, thing I've had with uh, Halo figures before is they have the knees and they're like swivel joints, but they're always really tight. It has uh, poseable toes, his head. Oh, uh, there you go. His head is on a little peg. This, this is what a Spartan looks like unmasked, which is why you never see the Master Chief's head. And uh, so his head is kind of tucked back in there, and it only looks up, but it kind of gets pulled out of this little peg right here. So just put that in. Uh, pretty much the same posability as a normal Spartan figure, except for the waist. So. Let's uh, see how I can put them in here. So I, I, this is the first time I've done this. So I guess I just separate the legs, bend the knees just a tad, uh, put it up like that, and uh, turn the hand around. And it shows here his hand is in the shape of uh, what it would be like if he was holding a rifle, but he doesn't come with a rifle, which really sucks. I might end up just getting another Spartan figure to put on the back of this so he can have all the guns. But, um, you know, you buy this thing mainly for the ATV, uh, all-terrain vehicle, or whatever. Ah, crap. Sorry if you can't see this on camera. I'm trying to do the, the attachment thing and, uh, and look at the camera at the same time. So can you give me a little leeway here? I guess so. Okay, I think I got it. Uh, yep, I got it. Kind of. He's not really sitting down. He's kind of hovering right above it. 
I don't know how to do that. Maybe. Yeah, there's another set of... Right here, you can kind of see. Here, let me just get... Ah, oh, great, now his gun hand is stuck in there. Ah, I'll just put him off to the side. But what you can do, I guess, is um, take this, and it's like a posable foot thing. And back here, uh, if you want to, I guess this is supposed to be a seat. Right here, you see a little seat. It just comes up and down like that. Uh, I guess this is just if you're have the figure by himself. You want, if you want to put another figure on it, you just flip that thing down, put his feet onto these two posts right here, put his hand on this, and um, it rolls. Now, I haven't been able to tell so far, but I think the tires are made of rubber. I'm not entirely sure. Um, here, it'll probably be hard to see. The uh, handles do move, which is a good feature. Uh, the wheels do spin. And the handles do not turn the wheels. Crap. Uh, the wheels do spin, obviously, but the handle does not turn the wheels. I'm looking down here, and it looks like... I don't know if they can turn, but it looks like they have some sort of suspension in it or something. Like, you can somewhat go up, go down, whatever. It's hard to tell. I'm, I'm probably not going to turn them, because I'll probably break it. Because as most of you know, Halo action figures and... I'm not saying this in a demeaning way, I'm saying it in a very honest-to-God way. They break easily, so it's for light play, and you don't want to go all bang, bang, bang on it, because if you do, then you're more than likely going to break it. But there is the Spartan Mongoose ATV.